Hey guys, welcome to the gun shop with me, Johnny. We've got two guns here in front of me, and one is the Gilded SPZ, the other the Coffs Scepter SXE. Today we're going to have a little look at the mechanical differences between them and try and figure out which one is better, if we can. So let's start with the very basics, the fore ends. Uh, and then we're gonna pop these things off as we go and kind of work chunk by chunk. As you can see, we have black metal work on the coughs, silver metal work on the yield is. The yield is is done on a spring and pull and has this kind of tuliped fore end. So just pull that up and the fore end comes off. Do that on the coughs, it requires a little push in and then a pull up. So there's no sprung loaded tension apart from in the little clip. There's no particular mechanical advantage to either, however I am a fan of the sprung loaded type forend because if it bounces a little bit it can always come back. Once this is disengaged, it is disengaged and actually doesn't push down well, it needs to be let in. I, For that I would favour the forend mech on that, though I like the black, but that's just superficial really isn't it? Now have a little look at the forend lump on both these guns is slightly different, the yield is, is certainly more refined, however you can accept the lack of refinement on the coughs because you have the little adjuster screw in there that's going to just adjust your draw tension between the forend and the action. As such you can make this cough scepter feel tighter for longer. Maybe that's good, maybe that's bad, again it's going to keep your gun slightly tighter for a little longer, but a lot of that again is superficial, it'll feel tighter which isn't bad, it's not bad. Although these are different barrel lengths, I have felt plenty of barrels on both, and it's worth saying that the Yildiz barrels are ever so slightly lighter than the Coffs barrels. Uh, whether that's because the ribs are different, I mean, they are just very different, but the rib laying, the way the barrel's constructed is ever so slightly different, and as such, the Coffs barrels are ever so slightly lighter. But we're talking a few grams on length for length, so is that something to worry about? Probably not. The choking and boring on both is fairly equal and there's not much comparison. On the yield is the ejectors are a push and twist style, a little bit like a Beretta, and are tripped as such. So you have the ejector mech inside the fore and there is pushed by a rod. These tilt up, catch under here, and release. And on the coughs, you have a little bar that kicks out and pushes these lumps up into engagement. Which one is better is kind of hard to say. However, I prefer the timing and regulation on the yield is over this. However, these might have a little bit more long-term reliability than these. However, like I said, if these go wrong, these are a lot easier to re-time, re-regulate, and refit than the two-part unit. However, it's personal preference. I wouldn't buy one for longevity of ejector ship over the other. Both guns run with very, very similar hinge joints there with very, very similar big bottom bites. Nothing that exotic. The only thing I will say is a lot more black on the coughs than there is on the yield is, so you get to see your wear marks a little bit quicker. Uh, whether that's a positive or a negative, well, that's up to you. Uh, I wouldn't be swayed either way. Certainly the black breech face is quite cool. Certainly, but that's, um, I think that's about your lot, really. Action-wise, mechanically, internally, and the way they operate is ever so slightly similar, although one is not particularly better than the other. Where they do vary, however, is in the way that they cock. You've got one large cocking bar in here, and in the other you have separate because the ejector works work slightly differently. There are pros and cons to the way these work, however, nobody would say one is any better than the other, really. I don't suppose as much as all I can say about that. Uh, the way the top levers are released is slightly different, and I do favour the coughs for that, only because your bar for disengagement is slightly larger, so it's a lot easier to do that than it is to do this tiny one here in the yield is. Safety wise, the yield is safety is a lot smaller, a lot more refined than the coughs and feels a lot less clunky. Obviously there's a nice sort of thing about having a larger and much more positive safety movements, however I am lent to the yield is. I think I am lent to the yield is. In every regard up till now apart from the engraving. I think the yield is engraving literally does nothing for me. Whereas this, although both are kind of superficial, really unexotic engraving, this, it looks good. You've got to admit, the whole engraving set on the Scepter SXE looks nice. It's a blatant rip-off of, of any sort of Acanthus scroll work. And although, again, it is superficial, 
it is pretty, certainly prettier than the Yul Diz's game scene. It's a little darker, the shades contrast more. Um, yeah, there's no comparison in prettiness. However, I like the fact you get an engraved hinge pin on the Yul Diz over this. Something that's worth saying is the hinge pins on the Yul Diz are easy removable versus the hinge pins on the cost, which are not easy removable. So at this point, I should mention that this is 500 and this is 550. So this is 50 pounds dearer. The action is a little deeper, a little wider, and as you can see, is actually just a little bit bigger in the yield is. So that might be a disadvantage if you don't like a deeper action. However, another thing I should say is the yield is has a five year warranty, which is more than the coughs. And a five year warranty is better than a cough sort of warranty. Yield has been about around a bit longer, although that's not a reason not to own the coughs. Coughs has really taken the market by storm because it's got such good spec for £500 and it's a very pretty looking gun. It stands up against the rest. It's worth saying that the two owners of these companies are actually related. Um, not that it really has much bearing, but obviously, so there's going to be some similarities in the gun design and gun spec. And yeah, they might even talk. Who knows? Wood to metal fit and finish around both is not that exotic. Um, although you have a slight ramp down on the coughs, so it feels a little nicer on the join. There is a flatter face on the yield is. You're gonna have a preference over the two. You have a very nicely carved headwork there as this is a bit rounded. So this looks, uh, looks wise, I think the coughs has certainly got it, but I think mechanically the yield is has got it. And I know that's sort of a conclusion. We're not quite concluded yet, but that that's sort of very evident. Both are laser checkered the coughs is very tight the yield is is a little bit more regular it's sort of about 24 lines per inch this is very very tight a little bit too tight to be of any practical purpose apart from just to fill up with gunk grips the grip is slightly tighter on the coughs and as such will suit a smaller hand the grip on the yield is slightly longer so a smaller hand's gonna have to choke up a little bit more both triggers are all right i'd say the yield is trigger is actually is, is better. The cough triggers lend themselves to be a little bit heavy and a little bit spongy. The Yildiz triggers are actually much better. Again, lending itself to the mechanical side versus the aesthetic side. The oil finish on the coughs is better. They filled the grain better, they've taken it back to a higher grade and it just looks much nicer. Both have hand fitted pads, although this one's had an aftermarket pad put on it when it has been shortened. All right. The oil finish on this, before I finish, is quite open grained. However, for the sake of spending a couple of hours just running it over with a bit of wire wool, a bit of grain sealer, and a little bit of effort, you can kind of make them both much better than they are as standard. Let's pop them back together and sort of just have a little play, operate, close and open, and go from there. So how do they feel in operation? Both of these guns haven't done a lot of work at all. Kind of the opening, closing. I like the larger grip on this. That's certainly very evident. And the forend is, I think, quite a bit fatter than the coughs. However, the coughs is a lot deeper. The grip on this is clearly sort of meant for, for slightly smaller hands, a lot narrower in the wrist, and that forend is a lot deeper. It's almost like this stock should be with this forend, and this forend should be with this stock in terms of spec and dimension. Both in terms of opening and closing are very, very similar. Both because the action design is, is very similar in the way that they lock up and close. It's like there's a progressive tightness that happens with the yield is because of the way that works. And if you understand the sort of inner workings of them, you can kind of both appreciate the way they work. Feels like the yield is sits on its springs a little more. Whether that's good or bad, I don't really know. The answer's got to be the yield is purely based on the warranty. However, if you want a gun that you're not going to use particularly hard and don't care that much and want something that looks better, buy the coughs. At the end of the day, they're both cheap Turkish guns, so you are buying a cheap Turkish gun. You can't expect it to be the best gun in the entire world. You're buying it for the sake of buying it, because it's, it's a reasonably priced, whether that's because you're starting or just because you want a smaller gauge gun and don't want to invest a huge amount of money. You are buying what you buy. The bottom line is I've shot both. I think the triggers are better on the yield is. I think mechanically this is a better gun. So this appeals to me because mechanics appeal to me more than aesthetics. However, if you want a gun that looks better, this is clearly the option. At the end of the day, the decision's yours. But for me, it's this way. Yield is SPZ. And it is. It is the warranty that does it for me. The fact I can take it, use it, not trash it, use it within its intended use, as the warranty would probably say, and just go, well, I'm safe for five years. If you looked at it, that it's going to cost you 110 quid a year, 
just for the warranty aspect alone. Doesn't really matter about anything else, does it? Guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye. We'll see you next time.